They're both known from the series Sea Track Secrets, and they're the best of friends. But now, it's time for the Sea Track Battle on Foon. Two teams fight against each other, and there are four fishing days to win the match. It's all happening on the island of Foon in Denmark. In this episode of Sea Trout Battle. You're in them now, Peter. Yeah, I really, really in the fast and furious. Yeah, oh. Ah, under. Yeah, bro. Over 45. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So then, Thomas could save our glory today with the, the fine fish he just got. We needed that. <laughs> we started up here, now we just moved to this place. Ah! Big fish! Team Thomas consists of Senja Furbo and Thomas Hansen. Team Klaus are Peter Alexanderson from Sweden and Klaus Eriksson. And three cameramen are doing their very best to follow the teams everywhere they go. Foon is known as one of the best places in Europe to fish sea trout from the coast. The day before the start of sea trout battle, the teams gather in Katamina on the northern part of the island. Tomorrow we start fishing and uh, the golden number is 45 centimeters. So now uh, I will measure the spin fishing rod and put a tape mark on and then you measure the fly fishing team's rods. Okay? okay. Yeah. Okay, the rods is now marked with blue marks here. 45 centimeters from here to here and 60 to here. We are battling or fighting for six points each day. Most fish under 45, one point. Most fish over 45, three points. That's a difficult one. And uh, the lucky one, the biggest fish of the day, hopefully will go over 60 here, is two points. I fished with uh, Thomas a few times before in the boat and uh, it, was, uh, it was very fun. And we, we caught some, some great fish also, so uh, he's, a, he's a good fishing buddy. Uh, he's a good fisherman also, so um, we're going to be a, a great team. Tomorrow is the first of four fishing days in the sea trout battle. And I think the team that wins tomorrow wins the whole battle. It's the 22nd of March. The water temperature is only 4 to 5 degrees, which determines both tactics and strategy. My expectation for this week is that uh, there's going to be a lot of driving uh, to find the fish. It's not going to be about catching uh, them a which lure, which fly. Uh, the one who's going to win this challenge is the one who's got the luck to find the place at the right spot at the right time. Uh, because the fish have shorter strike periods uh, all over the day when, when the water temperatures is like this. Sea trout battle. I've been training for this moment uh, the whole winter with the Swedish sea trout. Uh, let the best man or women win. Okay, first day sea trout battle. Yep. Uh, temperature, Ready? Temperature is only three degrees, so that's very bad. Yeah. That's not. Cool. Uh, that's not what I like. <laughs> to, but cool. um, our strategy today will be uh, to try some uh, inshore in, in, in fjord in the fjord here, yep. um, different places. Uh, the water here this morning is very shallow, very shallow water. Team Thomas chooses to start at Odense Fjord. In winter, sea trout seek out the more protected areas of fjords, bays, and coves. Yeah, and we Team Klaus are driving to a fishing spot on the open coast. In this area, there are several streams running into the sea. Fishing is allowed in between the protected areas at the mouths of these streams. 
We are here now, Peter. It's a, it's a very small place called Pureskorn. Okay. It's just between uh, some small rivers with a lot of fish. And it's a, it's a little place. I think we will give it a shot here maximum one hour. Maps, and, we, okay. and we need to wait out. It's very low water, so we need to wait out from those uh, sandbanks out here. Okay, fast decision. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, this place normally very good, and the, probably the fish can come in here in one hour or something. But I don't mm -hmm. want to take the chance waiting, and they don't come. No. In. No. So we just try to hit spots all the time until yeah. we until we find the fish. To find the fish. Yeah. Team Klaus are doing a little better. They've only fished for a few minutes when Klaus gets the first sea trout. Ah, it's only one point. <laughs> I think it was 42, 43, but we need uh, three centimeters more. It's just a small area with dark button out here, with a little deeper water. And there was one fish and normally there are more. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Double. Double. Oh, I lost one. I saw it was double. <laughs> yeah, it's under 45. Okay, we just remember. Yep. <laughs> there are more fish there. You're in them now, Peter. Yeah, I'm really, really in them. Fast and furious. Yeah. Oh. Pan. Ah, under. There. Go. Yep. Woo. Over forty-five. <laughs> Det er også en You! One in the big group. Yes! Beautiful oh. fish. How big? Ah, under. It. Maybe 40. Okay. I had one here as 47, 48. So ah, that's we good. have a point now in that category. Perfect. Ah, wow. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Big Sea Trout, please talk to me. It's a little island here. Now it's so low water, so you can't see it's an island. Oh. Uh, we're going to go to the Right to that that end of the island, and yeah. fish back to the car here. Okay. Team Klaus had a short but hectic period where the fish were really on. Nice place. Beautiful. See if I can find the school. Nah, Peter. Three small fish for Peter. Three under. Yes. 45. And Klaus, one under and one over. Okay.
Team Thomas are still fishing in Udense Fjord. This is the third player spot and we had yeah. actually had some strikes here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, not enough to, so that we want to stay. So now I think we are going to uh, get something to eat yeah. and then we, uh, we will move on. Yeah. And Team Klaus have decided to take a short journey to a new spot. We started up here, now we just move to this place, El Sehul. And the wind is here, it's a little tough wind, but I think we can fish the, the sand bank, banks out here. But we can definitely fish around the corner at a little lighthouse, and that's a really hot spot. Uh -huh. So let's start here, short, and then go, go to, the, to the spot and, and uh, here on the, on the edge here. Big fish! <laughs> okay. I was waiting outside where the class is now, and there was fish behind me. I heard a splash, and I just went there and put the fly. Bam! Immediately. Took three fish, one quite big, and I saw a big one. Great. Not Goodbye like here. No. Very expensive, I can think. So here. Big cows. Biggest so you, far, you, baby. You This is the Swedish Danish team. Who's calling? <laughs> Swedish Danish the Danish Danish team. Danish Danish team. So, okay. How goes? It goes very bad. Goes very bad. Oh, very we are bad. very very sorry to hear that. <laughs> we had two two strikes on the last spot. Okay. Uh, that's that's it. So small small ones or uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, under 45. Yeah, okay. we, we, we haven't landed any fish yet. So. No, you haven't landed any? Okay. No, no, okay. only two strikes. Uh, no, we haven't landed. Uh, How many have you landed? Uh, we have uh, six, seven small ones and two over 45. Okay, very good. So that's okay. So, yeah, very good. <laughs> so we, maybe we need to go away from this area. <laughs> where, where, where are you fishing? We're just fishing where we are living, you know. Fishing where you're living, okay, okay, yeah, where okay. We're and the home? The, no, no, you have to yeah, drive, yeah. you know, you have to drive long to catch fish. Yeah. It's always <laughs> better on the other side. Always. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, okay, cool. okay see you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, bye. Oh. And now, Team Thomas make a quick decision. They go to the area where the other team has just been. But after an hour without fish, we had just arrived uh, to the spot we fished this morning as the first place. Uh, we hope to, uh, the water is uh, rising and uh, we hope the temperature has uh, rise too. But again, no fish. Um, we had one and a half hour left and uh, the last chance and the last thought I had was that I had an old spot just right next to here where we're living um, and we gave that a chance team 
some clouts now also have problems finding obliging trout, and they try many different fishing spots during the afternoon. Thomas and Senya are now fishing along the bay at Ketamina. Sådan. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Nej! Nej, der er der på. Nej, der var to på. Nej, de er røg begge to. No! For helvede, mand. Nej, nej, nej. Thomas. When Thomas finds a shoal of trout, things happen quickly. Never tried that before. Never tried my leader broke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was nice that uh, that Thomas could save our glory today with the the fine fish he just got. <laughs> we needed that. <laughs> gone. All gone. Oh fish. Yeah. Oh, it was okay. We found a fish at the last spot. At the very, very last, last spot. spot. <laughs> we found a big school of fish and everything went very fast. Uh, she had two fish on at the same time. Yeah, and the leader broke. The leader uh, broke. One of them was really good. It was yeah, out very of the big water, fish, so yeah. it could have been the biggest of the day. Yeah, the tackle was ruined and I didn't have any flies and my line was in the car and... Uh, yeah. And Thomas was catching fish, so I couldn't borrow any fluorocarbon of him. No, I'm not <laughs> stopping while I'm catching, so... <laughs> no, that's okay. We didn't succeed before last, so... Um, and it was hard because I was very hungry all the time. And uh, Thomas kept saying uh, he would buy me a hot dog. <laughs> now I think we are going to uh, get something to eat. Yeah. And then we, uh, we will move on. Yeah. But uh, I never saw that hot dog. And I didn't get anything to drink either. So I actually started to get a little mad at Thomas. Uh, it was a little bit uh, sorry that Senya lost actually a fish on maybe three kilograms today. Uh, jumped off to the water and uh, broke the leader. Okay, Thomas, let's hear. We had uh, five fish under 40. Five, five under? Under, and okay. one over. And one over. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. And we lost the biggest one today. So yeah. Yeah, lost the biggest Everybody one. lost the biggest and that's one. Count, that that no, counts. Really. You, have, <laughs> you have to let that count. <laughs> Five under and one over 40. Peter has the same as you. Five under, 40 and one over. And, one over. and I have one under and one over. So we have six under 40, two over. Is that totally? Two over. Yeah. That's totally. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Thomas and Senya now realize how close they've been to winning. If only Senya had landed those two fish she lost. They could have done it. But today, all the points go to Team Klaus. Okay. Okay. But it was a close race. I thought it was much worse. We, won, we won today. You get it. You do it tomorrow. A big fish. A big fish. Yeah. Three kilograms. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Three kilograms. Oh. And it took the fly, and while I was fighting it, a smaller one took so the other fly. They dropped the fly. Oh. Yeah. And then they pulled. Each Both way, mm -hmm. and, and first, jumped. yeah, oh. and then the the, the big one broke the, uh, bro broke the leader, Shit. and the small one was still on, but it Half broke the other leader. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, 
And, and then, then it all <laughs> went wrong because I didn't have any new line no. to put on. Accident. And Peter, you, you remember after the telephone call, you said, I think we win today. But yeah. I said, oh, don't be, oh, it be careful. It was be careful. Yeah, many hours left then. Uh, so. so until the one and a half hour before the day was ended, uh, yeah, yeah. we had no fish. Ah. So we went back here to this coastline. Mm. And I said, okay, at the old days, I had a famous spot here. The home bay. Uh, yes, the home bay. The home bay, yeah. So we went here, <laughs> and then I went down, and we took our flies out. But the problem is, Cindy hasn't had anything to eat or drink or no. anything all day. Because I was angry, I, very angry. <laughs> and me. So we went out, and I said, if they're here, they're right out there. So we're casting our bombarders up, both of us. And they said, bam, two on hertz and one on mine at the same time. We had yeah. to No, I, I, I just started spinning it because I didn't have any bombarda so and I didn't have any flies, so I just went on the yeah on the lures instead. Yes. Today the Swedish guy will really showed that uh, he was a good fisherman, so he caught most of the fish, and that uh, means that we won the day. It was perfect. So now we are confident that we can win tomorrow, but perhaps not anyway because uh, we go for big fish tomorrow. And when you go for big fish, you don't catch many fish. But uh, we won today, so we can afford to lose tomorrow. The next episode of Sea Trout Battle on Foon. Team Thomas are heading south. We are going down to the last point, and then we are fishing our way back. What we just saw here was uh, a whole bunch of uh, sea trouts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just got a very disturbing phone call. They've no idea where Team Klaus are fishing. Yep, saw that. Finally, now it's going good. So now we are back to the first plan. Some of us bigger <laughs> than us. That's the way. <laughs> but in the end, both teams are catching fish. Who's going to be the winner on day two? Let's hear the result for the second day. It is going to be uh, a lot of uh, f to, uh, a lot. Of, oh, let's do it again. It's true. It's okay, man. Good. Take care. Today was a very good day. We. Uh, yeah, we 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 won it.